recently sent in this question about iTunes. Take it away, Thomas. Howdy, Techzilla. Uh, here's my question. Um, I already know how to do a fresh install of uh, Mac OS X. What about iTunes metadata? I know how to restore from Time Machine, but I haven't seen anything that uh, tells me how to restore iTunes metadata. And that's the only thing holding me back from doing a fresh install to make my system run faster. So, any ideas? So Thomas wants to do a clean install of OS X, uh, but he doesn't want to lose all that metadata he's got in his iTunes collection. This now, always makes my skull throb. Of, well, of course, don't worry it too much. Because it doesn't matter if it's OS X or Windows, it's always like, which folder do I grab? Well, this, well don't worry, okay, this is not okay. difficult. And it applies to both OS X users and XP users, mm -hmm. Vista users, whatever. So we're not talking about like the ID3 information that okay. comes on your, your files, because that's going to be saved onto your MP3s. We're talking about like your rankings. We're talking about your <laughs> ratings, we're talking about your play counts, we're talking about stuff like that. That's stuff that does not get saved onto the actual files. Because you always want to be finding like, I listen to the Avril Lavigne song more than any other song well, I own. Well, some people, you know, actually go through, I haven't done this, but I know a lot of people that go through and rate every single mm -hmm. song and it actually makes for great playlists yes. and make sure they don't miss stuff they haven't listened to in or a while. Or you can block that song you hate. Right, exactly. <laughs> so all you need to do here is locate your iTunes database file, which in OS X is found at username, you know, music, iTunes, and it's called the iTunes library. The file type is an iTunes database file or .itl. Um, there's also an XML file called iTunes music library that you can copy over as well as backup. Um, there are other database files in there as well. With the extension ITDB, um, like the Library Extras and the Genius oh, Database. Uh, some of my Genius playlists are, are really yeah, happy. Yes, so you can save those as well. Cool. Um, those should be copied over, and for your PC users out there, the process is basically the same. You're going to find it in My Documents, My Music, iTunes, iTunesLibrary.itl. And your iTunes library shouldn't know the difference once you move everything over. Sweet. It's just be like, oh, it's my library. Here's all that, that <laughs> metadata that you wanted. So, so make badly. sure you move over all your files, too. Right. So if you're doing a clean install, just <laughs> make sure all your files are saved to like an external drive or something before you copy them, you know, when you're copying them yeah. over. And then just make sure you stick that database file right back where it belongs and everything should be fine. I've got my metadata, but I forgot to copy my music over. Don't, don't let that Oops. be you. <laughs>